So I wanted to go over picking up your horse's feet with you, and I'm actually about to clean up this horse's feet. Uh, the fairy is going to be coming, and I want to make sure that her feet are nice and clean when she gets her shoes reset. Uh, one of the things that I see a lot of people do is they just go in there and start picking up that horse's foot. And I don't know about you, but if someone just came and started grabbing my foot, I'd be a little bit apprehensive and worry, weary as well. So. What I like to do when I'm about to clean my horse's feet out or pick those feet up is I'm gonna first take a nice big deep breath just so that she knows I'm nice and relaxed and then I'm gonna come in here and give her a rub and kind of connect with her for a little bit. You know, let her know that I'm here, rub and love on her. Really just being polite, saying hello, before I just go on in there. Then I'm gonna let her know what's happening. So I'm not just gonna reach in there. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna come down your leg. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put pressure on this leg and watch her start to break over nice and light. Then I'll go ahead and pick it up. Now when I pick it up, I'm gonna go ahead and cup it inside right here. I'm gonna take my hoof pick and I'm gonna just get the dirt and stuff out of there, okay? Make sure there's no rocks. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean. All I'm looking for is to get any mounding or caking out of there, and then I'm gonna gently set it down, rub this hand right back up, and give her a rub for that. When you're cleaning out your horse's hoofs, I recommend just a regular plain old hoof pick that you can get from your feed store. It costs like a buck or two. Uh, you don't want anything with a really sharp point. I've seen people go in there and dig out deep and you're getting into the bottom of that horse's sole and, and digging them and hurting them. You don't want that. Something with a nice flat uh, point on there where you can just go in and scrape out that dirt. So now that I've done this side, I'm going to come down her back again. <sighs> nice big deep breath. I want her to know what's coming. And I'm gonna slide my hand down nice and easy. And if I really take my time, what you'll see is she'll start to just gently get prepared for that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna squeeze right above here, there. Good girl. And I'm gonna walk it out. Now, I'm just gonna hold it and brace on this inside leg here. Good. And I'll set it down nice and gently. Very good. So I'm about to go around to the other foot, but if you're doing this by yourself and this is a horse that you're comfortable tying, then you can go ahead and have her tied like I have here at my tie station, okay? However, if you're not comfortable that that horse will stand still, what you can do is have somebody hold that horse's head for you, okay? And this is really important. If you have somebody holding that horse's head, it should be an experienced horse person, someone that can help you. And you wanna give them some instructions so that they know what to do if she gets a little wiggly or nervous. So the big thing to keep you safe is the person holding the head should never let that horse come forward. That's the number one no-no. Because if they're holding that head, okay, and you're back here and that horse comes forward, once they come forward, they're gonna shift their weight onto that front end, freeing up that hind end so that they can kick. And of course, you don't want to be kicked. So a good way to help prevent that is the person heading the horse needs to know to not let that horse come forward. If they feel that horse starting to shift forward, go ahead and rock them back onto those haunches so that they don't end up kicking you. Okay, so she's done really well. Again, I'm gonna give her a rub. I already did this leg. I'm gonna walk all the way around to this side. Now I just wanted to note one other thing. You see how when I walk around, I'm right up close to my pony right here. I see a lot of people who will walk around a horse kind of like this, and they'll just kind of think that they're in a safe position. But where I'm standing right now, if she wanted to, she could kick my head. Like if she, she could jump up and kick me in the head. So if you're gonna walk around, you're either gonna walk with a hand on, directly behind her because right now even though I'm close to her if she were to kick she wouldn't get a full extension and her hocks would hit me and her feet would come right back down and if you've seen horses kicking in the field or kicking each other you'll see that they'll kind of kick out at each other if they feel something then they'll stop that kicking and bring that leg back down right so I'm either going to walk right up behind her or I'm going to walk like a huge big circle where there's no question around her so that way I know beyond a shadow of a doubt 
then I'm not gonna get kicked. But for this, again, because I want her to know that it's coming, I'm gonna keep that hand on her. <sighs> nice big deep breath. And now I'm gonna come over to this other foot. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push on this hip a little bit, get some weight off of that foot. That way I'm kind of setting her up there. That way she's not putting a lot of pressure. And if she moves too far, I'll just give her a rub. <sighs> Take a deep breath. There, now I'm gonna slide this hand down. I'm gonna go ahead, and, oh, I was good, good girl. And I'm gonna stretch it out just a little bit. And I like to keep it kind of low. And I'm just gonna get in there, make sure there's no rocks or anything in there. And notice I'm not getting it nice and perfect. Just wanna make sure that there's nothing that's going to make her uncomfortable. Now I'm gonna slide over this way. Nice big deep breath. Slide this hand all the way down. There, good girl. And you can see that as I slide that hand down, she begins to pick it up for me. But that's because I do it the same way every time. And horses love to anticipate. And so when you do something the same way you do it habitually, you're gonna find that your horse, is, your horse begins to figure out what that pattern is, and they're gonna help you out in the process. So that's how I like to pick my horse's feet up. I like to be slow, grounding, telling them hello, be methodical, you know, foot by foot, running that hand around. And then when I'm done, just give her a rub and, and love and thank her for doing such a good job, yeah, of standing nice and still for me. Good girl.